The reputation of the Zambian media for lacking balance in its political coverage has led today to the intervention of the American ambassador. Journalists from all parts of the media came to the American embassy to talk to the U.S. ambassador to Zambia, Max Torella. You have a real responsibility. Uh, you have a responsibility to provide equal access to people, uh, to try to provide unbiased coverage, to be as professional as you can be. And every day you can work to be more professional in the way you cover uh, the issues of the day. Elections are a great opportunity for the media to do a terrific job, to do a great service to the Zambian people. The ambassador talked about the travel caution issued to U.S. citizens intending to visit Zambia. We definitely did not say and would not say um, that we did not want Americans to come to Zambia, even during the election period. In fact, I would like to encourage Americans to come here. We want to promote tourism uh, between the United States and Zambia. At the same discussion, Misa Zambia Chapter Chairperson Daniel Sikazwe called for responsible journalism and said they want journalists to be able to vote wherever they are in the country on polling day. We must at all costs endeavor to cover the electoral process and it's been emphasized that the electoral process in this case is the period before the elections, during the elections and after elections. But the Press Association of Zambia Vice President Amos Chanda said he is worried about the polarization of the Zambian media. Uh, the media has added to, to, to polarizing the environment. The perception that is created does add to the legitimacy of, of the result or the lack of it. The Electoral Commission of Zambia has reissued a new electoral code of conduct, which they say they hope will lead to fair and balanced coverage of this year's election.